Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today we're going to go over the 2016 Sprinter 252 fifth wheel. It's going to be a great rear living floor plan. It's going to be short enough, it's easy to fit in most of your camping spaces, and it's going to be lightweight enough at just over 8,000 pounds that it's easily towable by most of your half ton pickups. Let's go ahead and start on some of the features right here on the outside. First off, you're going to have this beautiful front fiberglass cap on here, which is going to have inlaid and built in your LED strip right here that looks really nice at night when you go ahead and turn that on. Also in order to help assist you hook up and disconnect right here you're going to have a mirror so you can look right down at your pin box making it a breeze to go ahead and slide in. That's going to be further assisted by your automatic leveling which I'll touch on in just a bit. But right here, our front cap, you noticed, is going to be cut back. That's going to be part of the max turn technology. So that way you can go ahead and get a really nice angles as you're trying to park it without blowing out your back window. Let's go ahead and head right underneath here. Take a look at our storage. Get excellent front storage. You can see it's nice and clean, not a lot of clutter. You'll have your battery backs there off to the side. And mounted underneath is going to be your spare tire. Now, as I mentioned, this does have four-point electric auto level. That's literally a touch of a button. You hit the button. After a couple minutes, the coach is going to go ahead and level itself out for you. The, be the best part about that is it's going to have a memory as well. So you can touch it again, and it's actually going to lift the fifth wheel back up to where you dropped it off at. So you can literally just back your pickup right in there, hook up, and go. Just a great system. So we take a look here, so this will be uh, one side, you'll notice this is going to be empty. The other side is going to have two 30 pound propane tanks. So this one is going to be for a third, so if you want a spare propane tank, you can have, uh, store a spare right there. Go ahead and lift this up, take a look at our garage storage there. So you get excellent pass-through storage. You can see you have a door on both sides. Right here, it's also going to have a table that comes with it. That way, if you want an extra table, and maybe your campsite doesn't have a table, you always have one that travels with you. Nice and easy to get in and out of there. Also, as you can see, slam latch baggage doors make it a breeze to open that compartment up and close it. Up top here, we're going to have our power awning that is going to have the Solaris speakers that are going to be built into the awning. That way, when your power awning is out, the music's going to be playing down on the campsite rather than blasting out at your neighbors. So that's going to be a, a nice feature right there. Also, you're going to have your LED strip underneath the awning, which is going to give you light at nighttime, uh, which again, you know, it, of course, is going to provide light, but it also just looks really nice. Power awning, of course, is going to be uh, super simple to operate. Storm's coming in, push the button, that's going to go ahead and roll in for you. If we take a look at our rims, you're going to have the aluminum rims on here, which are going to help prevent any kind of rust or corrosion. Also, it's going to have the correct track suspension alignment system. So that way, it, it's uh, been shown through studies that your axles will actually become misaligned. This makes it nice and easy. If you bring it in, you can make a couple tweaks, get those lined up, so you're not going to have uneven tire wear. Going into the coach is an absolute breeze. You're going to have three aluminum steps, nice and simple. That way they're not going to rust out on you. Also right here is going to be your easy grab handle in order to get into the coach. One thing I love about Sprinter is this little sticker right here shows it. This has been tested from zero degrees to 100 degrees. So at zero degrees, it's not going to freeze on you. You're not going to worry about your water lines freezing, which is great. And again, at 100 degrees, coach is going to stay cool enough. You're not going to have to worry about any issues. Coming around to the back here, we're going to have a ladder, which is going to make it super simple to go ahead and climb up onto the roof. Uh, it is going to be a fully walkable roof, so if you have to get up there for any kind of maintenance, uh, if you just want to hang out up there, you can do that too. But of course, you'll have the ladder, uh, which is great to have it built in so you don't have to bring one with you. Also, you'll notice you're going to have an arced roof line so that water runoff is naturally going to run to the sides. And of course, you'll have the rain troughs going front to back. One other thing I love about this floor plan is right here is the big rear picture window. So that way if you do um, you know, back up to a, a campsite where you have a beautiful view, you have two swivel chairs there, I'll show you when we go inside, you can turn around and really enjoy that view through the window. Here of course is going to be our power cord, nice and simple, and then right here is going to be our slide. So beautiful features on the outside, again having that auto level is a huge benefit, but let's go ahead and take a look at the open, spacious and beautiful inside. 
Welcome to the inside of the 2016 Sprinter 252. Nice and open, we're gonna have our slide here. As you can see, a big open bedroom. For a short fifth wheel, it's gonna be a very open floor plan. This is also gonna be helped by, if you take a look at the ceiling, we have this skylight, gonna let in a lot of natural light. Again, in combination with a lot of the light colors, make it feel very open. Let's take a look right here in the kitchen. Huge countertop, which is great. Has a little bump out right here, which I like, so you get nice usable space on uh, both sides of your sink top. You do get a sink top cover here. We can take that off. You'll notice you're gonna have your uh, American stone cast sink, big bowl on the left, small bowl on the right. Nice and easy, of course, for washing dishes. And then that's going to be aided right here by our stainless steel pull-out faucet. Next to that, we're gonna have our three burner stove top. This is going to be Atwood, so you will get uh, uh, easy, great flame control on there, so that way you can be a chef on the road, and you'll also have an oven underneath. Beneath that, we take a look here, you get great storage right there, which is nice for pots and pans. You'll have additional storage right here where you can sneak a trash can. And right here on the end, we'll have a soap dish or sponge tray right there and then you'll have two pull-out drawers beneath that. We do have a light right here, so it's going to give a, a lot of light here in your kitchen, make it nice and bright, as well as a light on our uh, hood. And we can open up here and take a look at that. Great pantry space right there, nice and easily accessible, of course, because it's going to be right above your sink. You'll also have your stainless steel microwave. I touched on the hood that will have a fan in there. And then next to that is going to be our eight cubic foot Dometic. We have the stainless front on there, but here's our fridge freezer. And again, a ton of room in there. This does have automatic switch over as well as your adjustments right here. So you can go ahead and adjust how cold you want it. Now, one of the things I just love about this floor plan is right next to the fridge. Take a look, you get huge storage uh, here, but even more so next to the side. This is self-supported, which is nice. But take a look at the size of this storage. Huge pantry storage in here, which is great. You know, you can come up the steps here so you can easily access all these items right up here. But they really did a great job of utilizing that space. Now right here is going to be our entertainment center. So we are going to have our 32 inch LED TV and the sound bar right underneath for superior sound quality. You have this beautiful etched glass right here with storage up top. And then you have a shelf here with, uh, you'll notice you're gonna have plugins here, both your standard electric and USB. And then you will have shelving down below as well. Now over here in our slide is going to be our freestanding table. You do have four chairs. All four chairs do have storage in the back. That way you can lift those up. You get some extra storage right there. But the freestanding table is nice. It's a lot easier to get in and out of than a lot of your booths. And then if you do have additional guests and you have to be able to sleep them, that's not a problem. Right here is going to be our sofa, a very comfortable sofa. This is going to be a tri-fold sofa. So it's gonna be, uh, as far as the bed, the, the most comfortable in the industry right now. You don't have to worry about a big bar on your back or your air mattress deflating on you. But great seating position, and especially for uh, if you're doing any kind of entertainment or um, you, know, you have guests over, you can sit on the couch, you can sit right here in your swivel rockers. Again, extremely comfortable. I touched on it when we were outside, but here's that big rear picture window. That way you can swivel around if you have a beautiful view out the back. Also, you're gonna have an end table right here, and uh, behind both chairs, you do have electrical outlets. So that way, if you wanna you know, sit here with your laptop or iPad, you can certainly do that. Also, uh, right here and by the steps, you'll see you do get a little night light. That's controlled by a switch, but that's gonna be nice. That way, you can, it's just enough light to be able to see. Make sure you're not gonna trip over the stairs, which I'll show you in a little bit here. Uh, but that's gonna be a, a nice feature that Sprinter has. Of course, we have additional lights here, storage all across the top again that beautiful etched glass and then uh, once again it's going to be self-supported by your hinges right up top here I do want to point out uh, you are going to get your max fan that's going to have a rain sensor in there so that way if you don't want to turn on your AC you can open some windows turn that fan on does a great job a great job of uh, getting a nice breeze coming through here and with that rain sensor again it will go ahead and shut if it starts raining 
So one thing I do want to touch on in the kitchen right here on this end panel. So this is going to give that same access to uh, the one I showed you earlier. Your control panel is going to be nice and tucked away right here. Uh, that way you don't have to worry about you know kids or grandkids uh, touching all your switches. It's going to be tucked away. And then right here is going to be your rapid camp system which will allow you to control things like your awning and your lights. Also right here we get additional kitchen storage space. This is really neat, pulls out so you have some extra items you can place right in there as well as an additional drawer down beneath. All right, let's go head upstairs. We'll take a look at our bathroom and bedroom. In the Sprinter 252, because it is going to be a nice open plan design, rather than put a wall in here and make the bedroom feel really claustrophobic because it is a smaller coach, they went ahead and opened the bathroom up. So as we can see right over here, we will have a door, which is going to have our stool in this room here. Plenty of room, of course, for your legs. You have some robe hooks there, as well as a fan up top. Now right outside of that is going to be our shower. I really like the shower here because the shower door opens in. That way it's going to make sure that all your water is going to stay in your shower pan. You have a really nice look there. Uh, you're also going to have the hand wand as well as a skylight up top. You can let in some uh, sunlight as well as give you extra headroom. Right over here is going to be our medicine cabinet that is mirrored and you're going to have storage behind that. Right below electrical outlet here as well as our uh, countertop sink of course and then we will have storage underneath. Now as we start to look at some of the bedroom features, right over here is going to be hanging wardrobe space, which is great. You gotta love having extra wardrobe. Nice and easy access, especially right out of the shower. And then right here, you're going to have some additional drawers. Now as we look up to the front of the coach, right here is going to be our queen bed. On both sides, you're going to have extra wardrobe space again. That'll have your hanging space. So you have three wardrobes in this uh, coach, which is fantastic, as well as storage all the way here across the top. Now underneath the wardrobes, you're going to have a little cutout there and you will have uh, electrical plug-ins. So that way, if you do have any kind of electronic devices, you can plug it in and set it there. Or a CPAP machine, you can go ahead and plug it in. Uh, that way you do have a place and you can pick either side of the bed. Now there is going to be a curtain right here in case you do need to close off the bathroom. If you have additional guests for privacy, you can certainly do that. And you'll also have a fan right here. Again, if you wanna open up some windows, create a cross breeze without running your AC, you can certainly do that. So again, folks, this is the Sprinter 252 uh, rear living fifth wheel. It's a fantastic floor plan, super open. It's gonna be absolutely gorgeous in here. They did a great job with the woodwork and all the decor, extremely comfortable furniture. Your uh, seats are spin around to have that big rear picture window, and it's gonna be nice and lightweight. Definitely something you wanna come and take a look at. If you do have any questions or comments, please go ahead and feel free to leave those on the video below, or you can give me a call here at American RV and I'll be happy to answer them that way as well. I'm Ian Baker, thanks for watching, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.